Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today I'm going to make a flag fold shirt. To begin, I'm going to lay out my shirt and try to smooth out some of the wrinkles. And then I'm going to fold the shirt into six equal sections. To do that, I'm going to fold the shirt in half. Then I'm going to fold each half down one third of the way and fold it back on itself. A lot of this is just trial and error. You're just going to have to work with the shirt until you can get it into those six equal sections. You see me kind of working back and forth with it and I'm having to work the sleeves down in and make them fit too. Once this is all smoothed down, I'm going to start at the bottom of the shirt, not the end that has the sleeves on it, but the opposite end. I'm folding the bottom up and over to the side, then going down with it, up over to the opposite side, and going down with it. I'm going to continue this all the way up the shirt. It gets a lot more difficult as you get a lot more folds, and when you get up where the sleeves are, it becomes very difficult because you have so many folds and it wants to keep coming undone. And it's very difficult to get it to make that turn. So you just kind of have to keep working with it. That's what you see me doing. I'm just working with it, unfolding it, refolding it. Once I have all my folds, I'm going to straighten a few of them and then I'm going to tie it up with some rubber bands. After I have my shirt tied, I'm going to set it aside for a few days and let it dry all the way out. To dye this shirt, I've taken a tub and I've put something to keep the shirt up off the bottom with. So for this one I just have like a little metal rack that I have put on there. With a flat portion on the bottom, I'm going to dye one side of it with blue, the other side of it with green, and the very top of it with yellow. I forgot to turn the video camera on when I dyed the green portion, so I'm sorry I didn't get that. But the green is a combination of bright green and new emerald green from Dharma. I had a little bit of both of those left over and I didn't want my dye to go to waste so I just mixed them together to make enough to dye this shirt with. The blue is Custom Colors Vivid Turquoise. The yellow is a combination of citrus yellow and ivory from Dharma Trading Company. I'm really trying to saturate this shirt with a dye. There are a lot of layers of fabric to go through. I've used colors that 
will mix very well so it doesn't matter if they kind of blend together. That's purposely why I chose colors that would work well together. I am going to flip the shirt over and dye the other side as well. I just keep layering the dye on until I'm sure I've got the shirt really well saturated. I don't want any white spots left on the inside of the shirt when I untie it. By the time I finish applying the dye, the shirt is very squishy. I can take my fingers and press on it a little bit and the dye will kind of squish up from it, which is what I wanted. I wanted it to be very squishy like that. Now I'm going to put the shirt aside and let it process for about 24 hours. Okay, here's what our shirt ended up looking like. Thank you all for watching.